Greetings guys and gals, it's me, Camden, on Channel Camden. Today we're about to talk about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie that just came out a week ago. Now I can't use clips this time since this is a new movie and I'll have to go to jail if I do that. Do use clips. Anyway, let's get started. The movie starts off with Sonic as a baby. His origins um, where uh, he has this mentor named uh, Al named Long Claw and she told Sonic not to use his powers, but he did, cause did so. Echidnas showed up, the Echidna tribe, and hmm, Echidnas doesn't that sound familiar? Knuckles. Yep. Yeah. Also, forgot to mention I'm going to be spoiling the whole movie, so. So if you have not watched the movie, get out of here. Don't watch the video until after you watch the movie. Anyway, the ones that have watched the movie, continue watching. So Long Claw gives Baby Sonic rings to teleport him to other planets. So he goes to Earth and grows up there. And then, then Sonic like see looks at humans and stuff. He haven't even met them yet, but he considers them as his friends. Because Sonic is really lonely in this movie, and he mostly follows Tom's family. Look, that's Donut Lord, because he talks to the donuts. I'm using Cyclops because James Marsden plays Cyclops in the X-Men movies. He's my friend, even though I haven't even met him yet. So Sonic goes to a baseball field because he sees kids playing baseball. So at night, when everyone is gone, he plays baseball with himself and while talking to himself. And then he hits a home run and he says, A home run! Wait, no one is here. I really am alone. So he got so sad, he ran around the baseball field and there was electric uh, around him. Kind of like the Flash, like lightning is all around him. It's kind of like that with Sonic. Movie Sonic is faster than modern Sonic. And, um, power blackout happens. And then the government sees it. And then they recruit Dr. Robotnik. And Jim Carrey plays Dr. Robotnik. And I enjoyed him in the theater. Hey, what's your name? Nobody cares! <laughs> And then, after all that, Sonic tries to hide because um, some army soldiers and some of Eggman's drones come and try to locate him. So he hides in Tom's house. And then this is where Sonic meets Tom. Uh, meow? <laughs> Ow! And then Sonic accidentally makes one of his rings fall down, and then the, all the other rings fall all the way to San Francisco. So then Sonic and Tom are on a road trip, basically. And then many scenes are really fun. Uh, Sonic and Tom, they become friends and stuff. And there's a scene where Sonic does something similar to this. First thing that I'd like to do is 
Yeah, I say something earlier about mo movie Sonic being faster than modern Sonic. I saw forgot to mention Tom's wife, Maddie, played by Tinka Sumter. So then they go all the way to San Francisco, finally get there, and then um also Eggman and Sonic. The the final battle is is great. Sonic uses rings and teleports to many different places. There's some Easter eggs like stuff from Sonic Three. Or Sonic Unleashed, and then they finally get to Green Hills, and then Eggman and Sonic and Tom, they all fight, and then Sonic gets electric powered and stuff like fully charged. I call him fully charged Sonic, and he was all just when the lightning was all around him, and even his eyes were blue and stuff. So he turned into a ball. And start spin dashing Eggman's um little big Eggmobile, built. and it was really cool. Like it was really nice. Like it was bing 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 bing. Like it was like a pinball. And then Sonic uses a ring to teleport Eggman to the Mushroom Hills, and then Sonic stays with Tom and Maddie, and yeah. The movie ends. Also, Sonic flosses. Twice. It's a kid's movie in 2020. What did you expect? Oh, you thought the movie was over? No. Eggman is in Mushroom Hills, and he looks exactly like how he is in the games. Well, not exactly, but... He looks some very similar of how he looks in the games. And sounds like he does in the games. And then... He said, ha, ha ha ha, I'll be back before December. I mean, or Christmas, you know, same thing. <laughs> and as Sonic's, I had a quill. And like, <laughs> So if Eggman has that one quill of Sonic, are you gonna make Metal Sonic out of there? In the sequel? And it's still not over. There's a mid credit scene with. Drum roll, please. It's Tails. Tails is in the mid credit scene, and everyone in the theater, everyone. Including me and my cousin, because my cousin was with me in the theater. We all were screaming, Tails, Tails, Tails! And I heard a bunch of little kids saying, It's Tails, it's Tails, it's Tails! And I couldn't stay still. I was like this in my seat. It's Tails! It's Tails! Oh my gosh, it's Tails! Wait, hold on a second. Did my Iron Man just fall? And it fell again. And that's where the movie ends. And the movie was great. It was great. And Sonic was a relatable character. He was lonely. He had no friend. That's all he wanted. And then he got a friend, Tom. And the mid credit scene was really nice to see with Tails. In the sequel, we are going to get Tails. We could possibly get Knuckles or Amy. Like, I'm just really excited for the sequel. The sequel might be even better than the first one. But yes. I love the Sonic movie. I'm gonna give it 10 donuts. Also, I'm gonna have to explain the donuts thing. Um, it's a scale onto 1 to 10. 1 to 10 donuts. In the Sonic, it's 10 donuts. That means it's a great movie. And I loved it. Where are you, go where are you doing? Go ahead and check it out. Oh, wait. This is a spoiler movie, so everyone who saw it is watching this. Anyway, goodbye. 
I didn't say a word through the entire review. Ah. Uh, oh well.